Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. Today we've got another exclusive video just for you guys. We're gonna take a close look at another really unique shop in Portland, Northern Cycles. So let's take a closer look. All right, so we're here with Star Michael. Can we get a quick tour of the shop? Yeah, absolutely. Handmade here in Portland, glass case. I got some new old stock uh, TA cranks, a little 50.4 BCD. Some examples of our handmade bikes hanging on the wall. Randy Nuring bikes are classically sort of a half road bike, half touring bike. Built with super light tubes and very road looking, but with a slightly smaller wheel size to accommodate fat, cushy tires for rough roads with more compact gearing for riding hills and mountains. These things are fantastic for light gravel and forest service roads. Just sort of a general, all purpose, really well thought out bike. So this is uh, one of our little display walls. We got some cool stuff, like we stocked the Giles Bertho saddles from France, a little bit of Brooks stuff. We have handmade bags from Portland and San Francisco and France. My favorite, I have lots of new old stock seat posts and stems, custom make decaliers. And we also stock the Nitto decaliers and the Grand Bois decaliers. And I also custom polish lots of parts. So we're displaying some, some vintage new old stock Mayfac lovers that I polished. Is that fun or boring? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of like your one-stop shop for all your randonneuring, classic uh, bike touring needs. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Lights and locks for commuters and water bottle cages and all the funnest racks from Simworks and Compass and Velo Orange. Some of our handmade stuff. Got some Hanjo fenders are handmade in Japan. All the fender hardware from Hanjo and Velo Orange. Kind of all the stuff you need to make your, your touring bike or randonneur bike really awesome. A good selection of all the 650B tires that are available and some of the 700C ones. Up all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what's back here? So back here is the real reason why we started the shop, which is our frame building shop. And this is my, my partner and co-owner, uh, Mark Belladonna. Hi! He did uh, Belladonna Cycles since 2004. Started this place together and came up with the name Norther and the head badge for Norther. He's got his frame building bench and my frame building bench. Tube stock and over there we have just buckets and buckets full of brazons and fort crowns. And here's a, a custom bike that Mark's been building the last week or two. He just finished um, custom fork, custom racks, this Miata 615 touring bike. We built a custom fork with low trail and a wider fork crown. DeSalvo I have in the, my stand, that one I'm building a custom low trail fork for right now. So that's a good way for people to try it out without committing to a full bike. Yeah, it's really easy. Low trail forks totally change the way uh, your bike handles and steers. It's specifically designed for carrying a lot of weight on the front. So if you can do touring but don't want a rear rack, like I use mine, my my your bike every day for commuting and just grocery shopping in my handlebar bag, and it's pretty awesome. So of all of all the different kinds of bikes you could specialize in, like why why the randonneuring light touring bike? Because they're the prettiest bikes. When I first got into bikes, I was really into vintage bikes. Before that, I was doing auto body work, and I was really into hot rods. Got real nerdy about specific 1940s and 50s era styled cars. And first started riding bikes, I decided I was not going to be nerdy like that. <laughs> Swore up and down, and then ended up now all I do is build custom bikes look like 40s bikes. <laughs> and they have like a real like kind of classic timeless look. We still build them to be really functional with the prettiest parts we can make work for it. <laughs> right. It's like a forever bike. Yes. <laughs> it's like a forever bike and it's something that I stare at. Like it's almost an art piece when I park it in my house. Right. <laughs> I catch myself all the time staring at my bike instead <laughs> of the TV or whatever I'm supposed to be looking. So how did you guys come up with the name Norther? Oh, we were drunk. Um, <laughs> I think Mark misheard me. <laughs> I came up with it, so he liked it. I was like, wait, that's not, and he's like, nope, that's the one. So we've been working on it for like weeks, trying to figure something out. We're in North Portland. My name's Star Michael, and it's got a little North Star on it. The designer like tilted the star at the same angle that Portland is like tilted on the map, technically, and it's, this is a lot of cool stuff. Right. <laughs> just all sort of came together at once. Do you find people seeking out the shop? Like, have you have you guys become like part of the, you know, like the tour of Portland bike shops? Yes, oh yes. I've had uh, people from Sweden and several people from Japan who said they found us online and we were the destination spot from there in town. And then I recommend all the other really cool shops I gotta go check out. I'm like, you know, there's like a bunch of other really awesome shops here. <laughs> They're like, what? So what is it about Portland, you, do you think, that can support you know, so many bike shops and so many like kind of niche bike shops? That's a great question. I think it's, we're all wing nuts here. <laughs> like being outside in the rain and the, the bike community here is ridiculously huge. And there's like the shift to bikes list and the people who just put on tons of events and get more people riding. So thanks again, Star Michael, for giving us a, the great tour of the shop. And uh, if you guys are in Portland 
and wanted to visit a really unique shop uh, that specializes in randonneuring, light touring, and has that hard to find classic French part, uh, visit Northern Cycles. And if you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more bike touring, bike nerdy content like this, then don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.